It is important in terms of the modern relationship between Ireland and America that we as a country who enjoy such a wonderful relationship with successive administrations, regardless of a party political affiliation, on either side of the, of, of the Atlantic, we, we want to develop this relationship to an even greater extent than has been possible to date. And so therefore the establishment of the first new consulate generalship in America since the 1930s is taking place officially today here in the city of Atlanta. And we are delighted to be here. I believe that the establishment of the Consulate General, and we're delighted that Paul Gleason is with us today. Paul will be coming, settling in over the next few weeks. Uh, he didn't marry a person from Georgia. I tried to make that a condition of employment. Uh, I got a guy who married a girl from Tennessee, so we have a chance. We're worth. But uh, the important point to make is that he is very committed to working with all of you in all of the various aspects of, of life, economic, commercial and cultural life here in Atlanta and in the environs and, in just, uh, and obviously in Georgia and further afield here in this part of the United States. But it is important from a political point of view that people understand that the establishment of this office is not, is not, not just an important political statement as I've, as I've referred to. It is a strong commitment we make in difficult budgetary times as a strategic long-term decision that we have made which we would hope to replicate in times to come. We have seen also the establishment of honorary consulates uh, in other cities, in, in Denver, and in, in Seattle, and in New Orleans, and we will have uh, further, in Philadelphia indeed, and we will have further opportunities uh, to develop those, those parts of our operation as well. But here in Atlanta, we want to have a, a presence, a diplomatic presence, uh, and the establishment of the con and the appointment of the Consul General here, uh, Mr. Gleason, I think, is, as I, is, I believe, an important next phase in the development of the relationship between our two countries. There has been a long uh, and impressive history of the Irish in Atlanta and in Georgia. Irish culture flourishes here through the activities of numerous Irish cultural groups and academic institutions. Cultus Cultori Erin has had one of their most successful conferences of traditional music here in Atlanta. The Irish Studies Programme at the Emory University and the Yates Foundation continuously deepen the understanding and appreciation of Ireland and its literature. And of course, we warmly welcome the increasing contacts we have between your great educational institutions here in Georgia and ours at home in Ireland, none more so than the expanding relationship we are developing with Georgia Tech in Ireland. Irish drama and Gaelic games also flourish here, and I know that your St. Patrick's Day parade, which I participated on one occasion, continues to grow and may even someday rise to challenge Savannah supremacy in this field. <laughs> Ireland, Ireland and the United States have always enjoyed strong political, cultural, economic and social relations. And even that description falls short of adequately explaining the unique nature of our relationship. The link between our two countries is not based on sentimentality or a convenience, but rather on a deep sense of kinship, of shared history, shared culture, and shared values. And my government is committed to ensuring that the relationship between our two countries continues to thrive into the future, as it has done in the past. And having commissioned the strategic review of US-Irish relations in March of 2009, we, rec we have recognized the significance of our bilateral relationship and the importance of supporting and harnessing the experience of the Irish community in the United States. Such initiatives will be important, not least as we both seek to rebound from this period of economic difficulty. In Ireland, we have taken the difficult decisions, but they are decisions that needed to be taken and were right. I believe that there are grounds for cautious optimism and that recovery, when it takes hold, will be of a more viable and sustainable nature than the growth we've witnessed in recent years. And last week, Ireland's National Statistics Office published first quarter national accounts that show economic activity in Ireland rose by 2.7% between the final quarter of last year and the first quarter of this year. It's the biggest rate of expansion in the euro area over that period, but it's only the first step on the road to recovery. And my government intends to continue to tackle the economic, banking and fiscal issues that we face over the coming years to ensure that recovery takes firm root and is sustained. As Ireland continues to reposition, we will look to our friends in the United States for new opportunities for economic linkages and partnerships, and across the United States, as well as here in Atlanta.
and the United States through successive presidents, their administrations, our many friends on Capitol Hill, and our many friends in the economic and cultural sector here have made an, an enormous contribution to the establishment of peace and economic prosperity on the island of Ireland.